Okay, taking down the ramp. Step one at the at the uh, dock, floating dock side, we pull the pins. So we're going to pull those two pins out, and then we're going to lower the other end. So we now have the hinges off at the bottom. Disconnected the ramp from the dock. And now we're gonna lower the top side down with the engine crane. So now as we disconnected the pin, pins on each side, it's now balancing on the engine lift right here with the barrel side down and we've got the uh, disconnect from the floater and we've got the ends. Now we're gonna drop the uh, dock ramp down to the ground and turn it around and put it up in the dock. So a little trick, before you lower it right down to the rocks, you kick out the, the uh, barrel side that's connected to the floater out so that when you drop it down, the end with the, that doesn't have the barrel that was connected to the fixed dock, it will be in the water as opposed to on the rocks. So now we've got the wheels up on the fixed, or on the floating dock. And now we're just gonna pull it forward onto the floating dock. And so now it's on the floating dock and you pull it forward until the uh, barrel is touching the uh, floating dock. As you can see there, and if you look at the back, it just barely goes, it goes to the, over the other dock or just to the dock? Just the edge. Just the edge of the dock. So then we pull it in closer to the shore just until we're done because uh, done for the winter or the fall, I guess you'd call it, because we're going to put the ramp. If we left it out, the ramp would be too short to get to come to the shore. So now we're going to put the ramp on it. When we're done and you're done for the winter and you're out on the out in the floater you just loosen it back out so that that in the springtime the dock will move itself back out <laughs> 